Today we're at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard with the iToolco 10K Puller. We're here with electrical contractor William Schaefer and Son. In a moment, we're going to do a pull. Four lines, three pieces of 300 MCM and one 4i, all aluminum. Should be an interesting pull. We have Dave here. Dave, what size conduit are we working with today? Three inch PVC. Three inch. We've got to get the adapter for that. Everything's located on the cannon. You don't have to have different parts somewhere else. You won't lose anything. This is how the machine arrived at the job. We're going to go over to our conduit. Okay, Dave, we're going to walk this into place. Turn the thumb screw. That's it. We're going to slide out the universal adapter. We're going to set in. We're going to go around the route. We're going to set in the three inch conduit adapter. Tighten the thumb screw. Drop this into the conduit and we're ready for a pull. Right now we're going to set up the real jack stands. As you can see, I'm handling both stands, unlike the competitors, which I cannot handle both stands. Set them in place. That's my actual setup. Pull the chain. Breathe. Line into the axle. Reassert the pin. Drop this down to the next available hole. Same on this side. Pull the pin. Raise. Set up in the axle. Reinsert the pin. It's that simple. Now, all you got to do is raise your axle. Simply by cranking it. Get one side started and just jump to the other side. A couple turns of the crank and this reel is in position. All right, so we're in our pull. Dave, what do you think so far? So far it's going to make it smooth. This is doing all the work because on the other end we had the reel jack. And what did they say on the other end? They say it's pulling effortlessly off the reel jack that we have in our The machine's doing all the work. All right, we're on the feed side of our pull. We have three reel jacks with 300 MCM wire aluminum, one with four out aluminum, and one with one out aluminum. As you can see, it's rolling in there very smooth. Each stand has two bearings, 20,000 pound capacity. So in one setup, you have an 80,000 pound bearing capacity. That's why it moves with no effort. Paul, so what do you think so far? How did the setup go? The setup's great, easy to set up, running good, going in smooth, no problems at all. Everything's rolling off nice, yeah. right? Yeah, hey, not a problem. All right, we just completed the second pull here. 400 foot of cable. We started out on the low speed side of this iToolco 10K cannon at 18 feet a minute. Once the head of our pull passed into the conduit, we were able to switch to the high speed side, which enables to pull 40 foot a minute. How'd it go, Dave? Run real smooth. Came off the real jacks over there nice and smooth, and this thing barely bogged down at all. So there you go, iToolco 10K Cannon. Job's completed. Okay, we're wrapping up here with Bill Schaefer from William Schaefer and Sun Electric. What do you think, Bill? You saw the high speed and the low speed. It's nice. The high speed really makes a big difference as far as uh, pulling twice as fast at least. The machine had enough power to handle it and uh, really worked well. We liked it. Okay, thank you. 40 feet a minute on the high speed side today. Now, tool storage on the rope tender. Move the leg. Take your real jack stand. Slip it over the tubing. There's one. Step to the other side. Lift your real jack stand. Set it over the tubing. Replace the leg. Set your pin. Complete it. Now we're ready to go. The real, yeah, rope tender serves as a hand truck. You're carrying your two real uh, jacks and your stand. And we're off.